A late night confrontation ends in gunfire. Two policemen shot along with the man officers were questioning. It was just, just, just a tragedy out here. Prayers went up for Officer Alexander Thalman, who was seriously injured. Well, it's hard, hard to see any law enforcement officer trying to do their job to, to be viciously uh, attacked for no, no cause. Today, we learned Officer Thalman has passed away. As Newburn police mourn, the community mourns with them. News Channel 12 at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Valentina Wilson. And I'm John Erickson, in for West tonight. The Newburn Police Department is mourning the loss of one of their own. The police chief says Officer Alexander Thalman died at 1 this afternoon at a Greenville hospital. Thalman was shot Friday night. Police identify the shooter as Brian Stallings. Thalman stopped Stallings around midnight Friday near the Craven Terrace Apartments. That's off Broad Street in the Five Points area of Newburn. Thalman called for backup, and he and another officer, Justin Wester, chased Stallings to between Oak and Elm Streets. That's when Stallings got into a shootout with police. Stallings died from his injuries. Officer Wester was treated and released from a hospital. And today, Chief Toussaint Summers Jr. announced that Officer Thalman was surrounded by family when he died. We have team coverage of this latest development. News Channel 12's Jamie Hicks is live at the Newburn Police Department. She will have reaction to the somber news. But first here we go to News Channel 12's Juliana Valencia. She's covered the story for us throughout the weekend and into today. So tonight we find Juliana live at Vident Medical Center where Thalman died this afternoon. Juliana, what can you tell us? John, the Newburn Police Chief Tucson Summer tells us that Alexander Thalman died behind me at a Vitamin Medical Center in Greenville. I was at that press conference at the Greenville Police Department less than two hours ago where Chief Tucson announced the young officer's death. It is with deepest sympathy that I announced that New Bern police officer Alexander Thalman passed away just after 1 p.m. today. His family by his side. Chief Summers says this is a very trying time for Thalman's family and the police department. The chief says they'll keep the community updated as they make funeral arrangements. Reporting live in Greenville, Juliana Valencia for News Channel 12. All right, Juliana, and Officer Thalman is the first Newburn police officer to be killed since Detective Donald Miller. Our fact check has his story. According to OfficerDownMemorialPage.org, Detective Miller was shot and killed while off duty in Wilmington in 2001, just two days before Christmas. He and his wife were visiting their newborn baby in the hospital when a man shot him. He died on Christmas Day in 2001. The killer was sentenced to life in prison. Our team coverage continues in Craven County now. News Channel 12's Jamie Hicks is live at the Newburn, Newburn Police Department. She's been talking with Newburn City officials about the loss. And Jamie, what can you tell us? Val, I'm here at the Newburn Police Department where many officers will be going to work tomorrow. Without their fellow officer, 22-year-old Alexander Thalman. You take a look behind me, you see three flags. Half staff flying low as the department remembers Officer Thalman. I spoke with officials with SBI earlier today. They tell me they will continue the investigation of the officer involved shooting for at least two weeks. I also spoke with Newburn Mayor Dana Outlaw, who says he sends his condolences to the family and the department during this time. It's a tragic loss to Newburn, to our community, to law enforcement officers in general. I would like to thank all the many agencies that have been involved in helping us as a city to try to get to the heart of the matter. Chief Summer says Thalman spent seven months here at this department. Now I've been on the phone with many officers who tell me it's a heartbreaking time for the department right now as they and the community mourn the loss of one of their own. Now we'll continue team coverage with this at 530 and 6, so stay with News Channel 12 for the very latest. For now, I'm live in Craven County in front of the New Bern Police Department. Jamie Hicks, News Channel 12. Okay, Jamie, thanks very much. To read Chief Toussaint Summer's complete statement on the death of Officer Thalman that the chief made this afternoon, go to our website, WCTI 12. Well, it's the body of a Newburn police officer is returned to the city he served and protected, and a city coming out in force to honor the 22 year old. But the true heroes are people like Officer Thalman, who gave his life serving our community and protecting us. 
even children showing support and honoring a hero. News Channel 12 continues its coverage of the death of Officer Alexander Thalman. News Channel 12 at 5 starts now. Good evening to you. I'm John Erickson in for West tonight. And I'm Valentina Wilson. It's been an emotional day for family, law enforcement officers, and the community. They began the tough process of saying goodbye to a fallen officer. This afternoon, Officer Alexander Thalman was brought back to the town he swore to protect. News Channel 12 was there live as Officer Thalman's law enforcement family led his body from Vident Medical Center in Greenville to Cotton Funeral Home in New Bern. We've learned his funeral will be on Friday. More details on the funeral in a moment. First year News Channel 12 continues its team coverage tonight. Jamie Hicks joins us now live outside the New Bern Police Department to show us how the community is honoring Officer Thalman. And Michael Hennessy joins us live from our Greenville newsroom. He has reaction from those in Beaufort County who knew Thalman. They tell us Thalman grew up to be a man who wanted to protect his neighbors. First, we'll go to Jamie Hicks. John, it's been an emotional couple of days for everyone in New Bern, for the entire community. This memorial you see behind me, I was here when it first started as just one bouquet of flowers. Now you can see that police car is covered with flowers, balloons, cards, everything as people remember Officer Thalman. Today I was also at the procession when officers with the New Bern Police Department, Craven County deputies, and Pitt County officers escorted the body of Officer Thalman through the streets he patrolled to keep our city safe. The the procession started in Greenville and ended at the Cotton Funeral Home on News Boulevard. Today, I spoke with Riverbend Police Chief Ryland Matthews. He says he knew Officer Thalman. He says he was always ready to work and enjoyed what he did. It's a sad time and it's a reminder that we always hear it sometimes, but we don't always, we got to put it back of our head that, you know, you never know the day you go to work, you never know how your day is going to end. Matthew says Thalman will be irreplaceable in the law enforcement community. Officials tell me they are working with the family to make a permanent memorial for him. We do know Thalman graduated from Washington High School in Beaufort County in 2010. We also know he was a Marine. And coming up at 530, here from people I spoke with who came to the memorial today. They tell me they may not have known Officer Thalman, but they say you didn't have to know him to know he was a hero. Reporting live in Craven County, Jamie Hex News Channel 12. Heart still very heavy tonight. Jamie, thanks very much. Coming up tomorrow night, everyone is invited to a vigil for Officer Thalman. It will be at 7 o'clock at Union Point Park. If you can't make it, you will be able to watch it live right here on News Channel 12. And if you wish to help the family of Officer Thalman during this very rough time, you can make a donation to a memorial fund. The fund is set up at First Citizens Bank locations across our area. Proceeds will go to help with funeral costs. The funeral is planned for Friday at 2 p.m. at Temple Baptist Church in Newburn. Family will receive friends Thursday night at Hillside Funeral Home in Washington. Meantime, people who knew Officer Thalman before he joined Newburn Police are at his hometown of Washington consoling one another. News Channel 12's Michael Hennessy continues our team coverage from our Greenville newsroom after getting back from Washington. Michael. Well, John, since we started following this story, we learned that Officer Thalman was a student at Washington High School, a member of the class of 2010. Today, I walked down the halls he used to roam and got a chance to speak with the principal, Russell Holloman. Holloman told me he had many memories of Thalman. He said that he wasn't student body president, he wasn't the most involved in after school activities, but he said everyone remembers him. Some teachers even remember exactly where he sat in their classes. For all of them, yesterday was a day of sorrow. We were really holding out hope that uh, we, we would hear good news and that there may be a turn in his condition. But of course, we learned and they learned that he had died from his wounds. Now Holloman says their main concern lies in support of his family and friends because they're the ones who are feeling the most pain. Holloman also told me that he's extremely proud that Thalman became a Marine and then went on to serve his community. Hear what he says led to that right back here in about a half hour. Reporting live in the Greenville Newsroom, I'm Michael Hennessy for News Channel 12. Really the epitome of a hometown hero. Michael, thanks very much. In tonight's fact check, new details we've learned through Thalman's obituary about his commitment to service. Thalman was born in California in 1992, but moved with his mother to Washington, Beaufort County in 1994. Thalman enlisted in the Marine Corps, completing his training at Paris Island in May of 2011. Thalman is survived by his mother, twin sister and brother, 
Thalman was adopted at birth. For complete coverage of this story, as well as a photo gallery and guest book to leave words for Officer Thalman's family, head to our website, WCTI12.com. We turn the This city to this law enforcement family is not over today. It was not over Friday night. It's the benchmark for us to carry forth what his message was, what his dedication is. As the family and friends of fallen officer Alexander Thalman prepare for his funeral, the city of New Bern holds a ceremony to honor the officer who protected and served. And a good evening to you. I'm John Erickson, in for West tonight. I'm Valentina Wilson. News Channel 12 brought you live coverage of that wreath-laying ceremony at the Newburn Police Department this afternoon. The crowd heard from the city's mayor and police chief and saw an emotional salute, Val, from the top cop to the fallen officer. News Channel 12's Jamie Hicks begins our team coverage live in Craven County. John, it's been another day full of emotions for the city of New Bern. These streets may look empty now, but just minutes ago, hundreds of people gathered here in front of the New Bern Police Department to honor Officer Thalman. The event started at 3.30 with the sounds of amazing grace. People in the community, law enforcement from all over the county came to pay their respects. Mayor Outlaw said, we are all still in shock, but it's part of the healing process. He says this wreath represents the circle of life and the life Officer Thalman lived serving his community. At the end, the city presented a wreath to New Bern Police Chief Toussaint Summers that was laid on top of Officer Thalman's police car. I spoke with many people, many with tears in their eyes. They tell me it was a time to reflect, remember, and honor our fallen officer. I think it's respectful to um, remember him for everything that he did, no matter what people feel on either side of um, if this is the right way or the wrong way to remember him. I know what Officer Thalman would want. He would want us to honor all of the law enforcement that does all they do in our state, our nation, our city. And he would want us to heal and move forward. The mayor also tells him they plan to do even more memorial events like this in the coming weeks. And I've been working the phones, talking with people all day to find out why the vigil that was supposed to be at 7 o'clock tonight at Union Point Park was changed to here at 3.30. I'll have answers for that and hear people have to say about it coming up at 5.30 on News Channel 12. Reporting live in Craven County, Jamie Hex, News Channel 12. The epitome of a man committed to ser service in the Marine Corps as well as a police officer. The family will receive friends tomorrow evening in Washington. Officer Officer Thalman's funeral is scheduled for Friday afternoon at Temple Baptist Church in New Bern. Another ceremony will be held tonight in Thalman's hometown of Beaufort County. Thalman and his family moved to Washington when he was just a toddler. He graduated from Washington High School. In high school, he was a soccer player. After that, he joined the Marines before making his career move to law enforcement. News Channel 12's Amber Roberts continues our team coverage now from Beaufort County. Amber. I'm out here by the riverfront in Washington where we are more than two hours away from this memorial service that's going to be held for the fallen New Bern police officer, Officer Alexander Thalman. The majority of the festivities are going to be held behind me at this gazebo. It's going to kick off around 730. Now, people who are going to be here at this ceremony include New Bern Police Chief Toussaint Summers and also the New Bern Police Chaplain. Both of those individuals will be speaking at the ceremony tonight. Now, I ask asked people who were setting up for this event, you know, why was this going to happen here and today? They say they wanted to do something for that fallen officer in the place that he called home here in Washington. We will be here as the ceremony gets underway and we will keep you posted on the latest developments. Reporting live in Washington, Amber Roberts, News Channel 12. Ceremonies across the east today. Amber, thanks very much. As we continue to follow the ceremonies honoring Officer Thalman, head to our website. You'll find videos of all of the events there in case you couldn't make any of them in person.